Hello everyone, it's Trace Face. What's going on? Uh, I am home a little bit early today and I wanted to do this video before I go to my, uh, my class I'm going to today. Um, I wanted, I, I had a few comments that uh, kind of led me to this topic that I wanted to try and talk to you all about today. And that is when the narcissist comes back around again. Uh, some of us that are educated in the narcissistic abuse uh, awareness know that this is otherwise known as hoovering. So I wanted to talk to all of you about what it means and what is going on when the narcissist comes back around again and uh, is, is having their fake epiphanies, fake apologies, uh, and just saying whatever it is they know that they are going to say to make you melt because they know you and they know exactly what it is you want to hear. Um, in my experience, uh, when you have been discarded or you have left the narcissist yourself uh, and the narcissist has discarded you because their ego can't stand the fact that you've left, uh, it's going to go like this. They are most likely going to try and get you back and the only reason at that very point that they're going to try and get you back right away is because they don't have a secondary source of supply lined up initially. Um, they're, they're going out and they're trying to find somebody quickly and uh, ASSC Direct calls this the uh, panic picks. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to find a panic pick. Um, and so they are going out and they're doing this. They're trying to find some backups. Uh, and when they are, they are continuously trying to get you back, it is a game to them, guys. It's, it's a challenge. The narcissist likes challenges. They like games. They like to win. So, so understand that it's not, you know... When they've messed up and they've messed up big time, most likely you've caught them cheating on you, whatever it is that you've caught them doing, uh, you know, hiding money, uh, uh, doing sneaky things, treating you like garbage, whatever it is that you've been fed up or you've left or they have um, actually, hey, guys, don't do that. My cats are beating each other up. Um, <laughs> so um, I, have a, I have a narcissist cat, actually, who... Um, who bullies the other, uh, who bullies the other male in the house. So, um, I have to watch out for him. He is totally a narcissistic cat. And I'll talk, I'll talk more about, <laughs> about cat behavior and how you can learn a lot from cats and, uh, the animals that we've dated, right? Um, so at any rate, the narcissist is going to, uh, is going to try and get you back if they do not, and understand, only if they do not have that secondary and tertiary sources uh, of supply lined up. They have to have that lined up. They have to know that they have the options and the pool that they can jump in at any sort of time that they want to jump in uh, to make them feel good and make them feel like they are Fabio. Um, so understand if it's been months, it's been weeks, it's been, it could be a year, it could be years from now, it's because the narcissist is down and out. Okay, they went on, they tried to start a new life with somebody else, and it failed. And that is the only reason that they want to get you back. Okay, unfortunately, that's how it works for them. You are, you know, the people that the narcissist ends up with are Kleenexes. And at any point in time, they're going to, they're going to take the Kleenex out. They're going to um, use the Kleenex. They're going to discard the Kleenex. And, uh, and it's because that person doesn't do it for them anymore, uh, mostly because the person is, has seen through their games, has ripped off the mask. Narky can't have that. So Narky's going to go find uh, quickly somebody else to replace you. Um, and again, understand that when they're coming back, it's not because, oh my God, I, I loved you so much. You were the love of my life. You, you meant the world to me. I finally figured it out. I finally figured it out. It was you all along. Guys, if it were you all along, they never would have done the crappy, horrific things they did to you to begin with. You got to get that through your senses that that's what it is, unfortunately. Narcissists don't value people. They don't value relationships. They, don't, they can't even recognize a good source of supply to a sewer rat source of supply. 
And as a matter of fact, the sewer rat source of supply feels all too better and familiar to the narc because the narc just needs to go back into the hole which which they belong. They're going to be on a familiar plane, on a familiar vibration with people that are vibrating at the same levels and people that have not evolved and people that think, feel, are on that same, you know, um, sort of life that the high supply and the, the good value supply is not. The narcissist through time isn't going to be able to keep up with the high sources of supply. They can't. They don't want to work hard at that because that would mean they'd have to work hard at themselves. And they're not going to do that. So understand that it's unfortunate, but they, this back and forth game that they're doing, listen guys, they want you still in their lives, okay? They want to still have you as a, as a backup. They want to still think in their heads that you're pining and crying and whining for them. And <clears throat> this is what they would prefer. So they will continue to throw out the little, you know, they're going to they're going to dangle the carrot. They're going to throw out little things here and there. They're going to they're going to say things at the right times. They're going to wait for the right time. They they know you. So don't ever forget that. So the best bet that I'm realizing and I've done before and I'm doing it again, get a new number, um uh, get a new email address, move, get a new address. You know, make it really hard for them to find you. Take down, you know, all the flying monkeys that could give them information on Facebook or whatever. Put their their um, their profiles on restricted so that they can't see what it is you're doing online. It's your best bet, guys, to, to stop these Hoovers. The Hoovers are games to the narcissist. The, the, you are just another option, and they will come back around again when something fails, and they think that you're the love of their life. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but when you feel like somebody was the love of your life, would you go around doing these things to them that they've done to you? No. Have some self-respect. Walk away. Because the minute you go back to them, they look at you like, oh, this is great. Look at what I just got away with. Let's see what I can get away with next time. Because that's how they operate. They love the back and forth game. They love to get their new supply going with you. They'd love to have the both of you in the picture. In fact, that's a goal of theirs, to have you both around, fighting for the narky. So it's a never-ending story for them, guys. As long as you give them the key, they will open the door. So hide the key, throw the key away, uh, you know, destroy the key, whatever it is you, you have to do. Don't give them that option. Don't give them a right into your life anymore. They lost all rights to your life the minute they crapped on you. The minute. They lost all rights. They don't respect you. They don't value you as a human being. Get them out. This is Operation Evil, and it's time we take it down. I'm Trace Face. It's time we all face the truth together. <laughs>